So today I'm going to talk about top 10 things that I think each and every photographer needs. If you want to find out what they are, keep watching. Number one, a notebook. You should keep a notebook, print your pics after each and every photo shoot and put notes in. What notes to put? Any notes. That some things you learned, things you should do better next time, any feedback you've received, anything you learned about the light, equipment, um, different things. So this helped me along the way so much. I'm, I have a second book now. This is my first book. And also when I was writing my book, this is the guy I was referring to all the time. So it helped me tremendously. So guys, if you don't have a journal, notebook, whatever you want to call it, you should start it today. Number two, an external hard drive. So I'm sure this is not a surprise to anyone. Um, this is just a Samsung. I think three terabytes um, external drive um, but where do you store your pictures don't rely on your computer I had I've lost pictures so many times my laptops failed so you just cannot take that risk if you're doing photography seriously so invest a little bit of money now there's so many brands and you can literally get what you can afford get what you can afford and also if you're doing it professionally have more than one I had more than one, but I gave my other one away. Um, but I definitely need to get another one because you don't want to store everything in one of them because they fail too. So, um, and I don't use iCloud or anything like that. So I store them in here in my computer and then you want to store them in another hard drive just in case. Item number three is a battery charger. I've told you guys before in my previous video, I used to spend so much money on batteries to charge my mouse, my um, keyboard, my cameras and different, different things. And honestly, you waste so much money. Um, so this was the best investment ever. Um, and you just charge your batteries at home. So, you know, when you have a shoot, you charge them the night. Charge. As I was saying, you charge your batteries the night before. Um, and this one is InfoPower Home Charger, but I think I bought it on Amazon or eBay, one of those. Um, I'm sure you can find them everywhere now. Item number four is the card reader. I know, I know, a lot of people like to just stick the card into the laptop or computer and you download all the pics. Or some people use the cable and connect the camera directly to the computer and get the pictures out. Um, I like to use card readers and I have more than one because, because on many occasions I shoot with two cameras, sometimes more, sometimes I'm filming, someone's filming, I'm shooting and I'm, you know, I have so much equipment. So basically what I like to do is to stick them all in and download all the pics and videos, everything at the same time, because time is precious. So, you know, I'm sure you can buy different ones. This one has four slots for different cards, for like old ones that I still use and the new ones. Um, but there's so many different types and you know, there's mini ones and larger ones. So, but they're just really good. So you really just focus on using your memory cards and working on your pictures and leaving the camera alone because your camera is precious. It needs to stay and relax. Um, so it's really good if you don't have one, you know, go for it. This one is Gembird. But as I've said, I'm sure there's like so many. Item number five would be a second camera. Now, not everyone can afford a professional camera, but if you're shooting weddings or you have big contracts, then you should really have a second body um, and a second lens and extra battery, all of that. But you might as well get away um, with any sort of alternative camera, you know, if you're shooting fine art and different things. Um, also vlogging, if that's what you do. Um, it's always, also if you're a photographer, you just want to shoot, shoot, shoot. You want to shoot everything. You want to shoot everywhere. And then it's not always that it's very comfy to bring your pro camera with you. You obviously can, but there are some occasions where you choose not to, um, because it's too heavy or it's not practical. Um, and there are so many alternatives that you can still snap while you're doing different things. You know, if you're going to the beach and you don't want to take your professional camera because you just don't want to leave it and, you know, you might as well take this. Um, this is the Olympus Toth and you can use it 
in the water, underwater, you might as well just go swimming with it. Or you might as well use a GoPro and still shoot videos and pics and still continue to do what you love. But it just gives you different um, possibilities. And this one as well, absolutely love. So this is Sony Alpha. So there's so many different cameras that you can still expand your opportunities. You know, there are cameras that print pics, which I have two of those. And, you know, each and every camera can offer you something different. So, you know, you might as well just go and experiment and do not settle for something, you know, um, less than that. <laughs> if you guys are interested in all the cameras that I own and, you know, want me to show you and explain what I love about them, what I hate about them, you know, give me a message and I will be happy to do that. Can you get away with using your phone if you don't have a second camera? Yes. If you're a photographer, you can shoot. Like doesn't matter what camera and what you use your pictures will be amazing. So if you decide you cannot afford a second camera, if you don't have it, then if you have a phone, you're good. Business cards. <laughs> I know, I know, you probably think, oh my God, I'm just gonna give my Insta name or I have a website. And when someone asks you, go, yeah, if you go to Brian, this is how you spell it, this is where it is, time is precious. And it looks more professional if you just say, hey, here's my business card. You know, you can contact me on one of these things. So, you know, if you're thinking about your business seriously, if you want your business to last, you know, you need to build your brand awareness. So that's just one element to it. Um, and it's a very good visual reference. Um, and it has all your details in one place. So... I think we shouldn't underestimate it. I think it's a very, very good tool. Number seven is this beautiful box that was made by, handmade by Salsa. You can find this awesome girl on Instagram. Um, and this is photographer's toolbox. <laughs> I know, honestly, if you have a studio, if you don't, you, you know, you still might need it. You know, you can find all sorts of things in here from different sizes of, batteries to little clips um to tape to pins to different bands and i mean what can you not find i mean so it's just literally photographer's toolbox that you might reach out number eight is this little wireless control that i'm sure probably a lot of you guys already have. So this is actually part of this awesome selfie stick, which is Fujitech, Fujitech. I don't know how to say it right, but basically I use it um, on my phone without it. Um, the battery is really cool. Actually, I don't have to charge it. I mean, I've charged it probably twice and I had the stick for years. So if you're thinking of producing videos like these, um, or if you wanna film while you're shooting or anything that you're doing in a studio so it's quite nice it's very handy i use it really often it also works for selfies magically another must have for me is the camera cleaning equipment so this is just a part of the set but i cannot find my other bits honestly um so basically this bit just helps you clean any dust or anything from inside your lens um, from a mirror and then there is like another bit which is a brush and then there are certain wipes if you go on youtube and search for brief photography you'll find a video that i've posted probably ages ago now of how i clean my camera and you can have a look guys but a you have to clean your camera um and it's definitely a must for me so must have number 10 is something that you guys already have and why? Because it's a prop. I love props. And honestly, everything can be a prop. So I grabbed a couple from my prop drawer, from like angel wings to hat to flowers. Um, honestly, there's just way too many. But my favorite prop is this triangle that my dad made um, years back. 
and it's just three pieces of Miro um, inside and I will demonstrate what a cool effect you can actually get if you know when shooting directly from there um, and I should use it more often I so what I'm gonna do tomorrow I'm going to publish all the pics or most of the pics or some of the pics that I've taken using this bit and you can have a look and see if you like what you see but it's just something you can you know make yourself so this was my top 10 must-haves for a photographer i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you have any ideas what you want to hear from me next give me a shout and take care bye